Hi, St. John's. I am recording this message today on uh, Thursday, the 13th, which is actually Ascension Day. And Ascension, as we know, comes 40 days after Easter and is 10 days before Pentecost. And I was thinking about uh, the Ascension occasion, and uh, we're told that Jesus took his disciples to the Mount of Olives, and uh, that's where he um, ascended. And um, when you are standing on the Mount of Olives, as many of you have experienced when you came on pilgrimage with me, is that you are looking out over the city of Jerusalem, and, and specifically you're looking out over today, you're looking out, uh, out over that um, that area where there's the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque and uh, and over the old city of Jerusalem. And um, uh, back in uh, Jesus's day, you would be looking over Temple Mount with the temple right there. And I just think about what Jesus was experiencing as he was um, saying goodbye to his disciples in, in physically and was ascending. Uh, and and just, you know, in my mind, thinking about what it was like for Jesus to ascend and look over Jerusalem as he was uh, departing. Uh, and seeing the city that um, uh, meant so much to him and his own prayers for the city. And um, I, uh, on this day specifically, um, there are two things um, that are uh, have been causing me to think a lot about Jerusalem um, and my own home there. One, of course, is uh, what's been happening in the news that, that you've uh, I'm sure many of you have seen um, with the conflict between the Palestinians and Israelis currently over um, Israel threatening to evict um, uh, some families from uh, a neighborhood in uh, Jerusalem. And uh, the way that, that uh, the conflict has now spilt over into Gaza and uh, all the lives that are um, now um, being lost and, uh, and, and all the injuries because of the back and forth um, attacks related to this this most recent conflict. So it's been really sad. And I just want to say thank you uh, to those of you who've reached out and uh, said that you're thinking of our, um, uh, of, of me and, and, and our family um, in Israel, Palestine. Um, but there's another reason why I'm thinking of Jerusalem today. And that's because uh, today uh, the new bishop, Archbishop of Jerusalem um, and the Middle East was installed in Jerusalem. And I just a few minutes ago was able to watch the service uh, virtually. Um, uh, the new bishop is Hussam Naum, who is a good friend of mine. And it's amazing to actually just see that in the midst of the conflict and everything that's going on, the church is installing the next archbishop um, who has a vision for um, the church ex being there for not only um, for its continued uh, Christian presence, but also to be a healing presence in the community. And as a part of his remarks, his sermon uh, in this installation service, uh, he talked about the importance of um, continuing to pray for Jerusalem as he was addressing um, the international community and continuing to do whatever it takes to build the necessary bridges so that um, we can uh, be a, a presence as Christians for peace and justice and reconciliation in the land, in the in Jerusalem. That's the heart of, uh, it's the, the, the mother church of our faith. And so I want to ask you today, if you will uh, join me in just saying a prayer for um, uh, Archbishop Hassam and his new ministry and also for the church in Jerusalem. Just remembering um, the prophetic words uh, of Jesus where he talked about um, learning how to love our neighbor and that, that truly not just our neighbor, but also our enemies. That this work for us also begins when we listen to the news and we try to um, uh, truly understand where uh, both sides are coming from and to know that um, there really is always a call for justice it's not just um it's not just equal fighting and, and that it's a conflict that's age-old and we don't understand it but actually there are issues that need to be understood and that the more that we care even in our distance the more and the more that we understand uh, what's going on there the more we can actually start to advocate for the things that make for peace and justice and so um i hope that those of us who are unaffected can also start to care because that's when um, we start to uh, actually be a part of the solution. So thank you for your prayers and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.
and as we continue to think about what church looks like for us here in our context and as we uh, have our annual parish meeting. I hope you'll make an extra effort to join us uh, this Sunday, and I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye.